Yeah. I know. It's been a while. Welcome, everyone, to Making Pack Stereo TV, the show that gives you the behind the scenes events here at Pack Stereo TV. What happened was, some of us, some of our friends, actually, uh, communicated with Vic and I that they wanted to see more of what happened behind the scenes and even the boring stuff, so-called boring stuff. So I told them that we had a meeting roughly every week and they would be uh, welcome to sit in and hence the Making Pack Stereo TV series with board. So welcome everybody to Behind the Scenes. If you're watching this, it's because you're considering building an online presence, building a brand, you're running some kind of an online business, you're considering running an internet television to channel to promote what it is you're doing, you're seeking to define that, and that is why you're here. And therefore, once again, we welcome you. So welcome to Pack Stereo TV. So Vic. Mm-hmm. The biggest thing for us right now is that it is time to make our season changes. Now, because we had talked about this, you had actually reminded me that the last show we did, the last live event, was really all that we had formally booked. Right. Because it's now, you know, today's date is now is now um, November thirtieth. Right. It's true. And so essentially you've got about a month or so, right? Just a little over 30 some days, right? Right. Till 2016. Right, right. And then you have to uh, kind of redirect your energies toward um, everybody's looking for what's new. They want to look for pro progressive changes. <coughs> they also want to see uh, continue what's already successful. In other words, if you have something successful, they want to say, hey, you know, don't don't move it away keep it coming but then we have to create that room for the additional program try not to expand too much of a backpack of work on our shoulders but also include what we call the new evolution and programming here while we also continue to bring them what has been proven to be successful here while we beta test new programs it's almost like you're packaging everything man and best time for us when we do that right around the holiday season here coming around the end of the year because 2016 means breath of new fresh air right now so so the first thing to really make clear is that we need to take off for the holidays and also we need to map out our planning of our time for the remaining now some of you are doing this with your own businesses this is what comes up so we need to do that but the first thing we're going to say is that we know that tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. will be our final broadcast of the season for Morning Coffee. Mm -hmm. And then the Morning Coffee show is going to go on hiatus until it is reborn, we believe, in another form in 2016. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But at least that's the first big thing because tomorrow morning will be, well, this morning. Right. Not tomorrow because it is, wow, it's, wow, it's late. Two, almost 2 o'clock in the morning Yeah, and we're do, getting together to do this and so this morning we get the 10 o'clock broadcast and we're going to really, it'll be the last one of the season, we'll talk about what we're going to what we're going to do, at least the general overview now Vic, I had some ideas, I told you I had some ideas about things for us to do uh, for the 2016 season, right now that's and let me make sure that we both agree that between now and the first of the year, there's a there's going to be continuing uh, quiet storm, mm -hmm. and there's may additionally be some impromptu programming stuff, right. So this we want to remind everybody that. Mm -hmm. So the announcements will be going. On. Plus our social media programming will be going on and expanding because you've been working on that all along yeah and that'll continue yep but okay so I had some ideas uh, in general uh, and they mainly had to do with the fact that in all these years we've never made any kind of concerted push well we never had the opportunity the system for a lot of reasons it didn't exist the, nothing worked that way now for the first time we have the ability to make a concerted push at gaining a local following through online media. 
Right. It just couldn't happen before, right? Local, everybody locally wasn't using online media. Right. You had all those variables. Right. The community wasn't using it. Right. But now, with everything falling in line, it became at least the idea of considering, because looking at the ways of lifestyle and everything else, to consider a total shift of our programming emphasis from the morning to the evening. Mm hmm. The prime time is actually 7 p.m. to 11 p.m., which would be 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. on the East Coast. Uh, it would allow us to hit this hemisphere better and locally try to hit them with something consistently to right. develop a very consistent... Now, I call this project Primetime L.A. And what I did is... I made a list of some shows that could become of things like, you know... Uh, little things that we could use to program as shows. But I also um, had some basic ideas that I wanted to run past you. Okay. One of the first ones involved uh, like we said actually eliminating all the morning programming um, and go to a 7 to 11 programming. Now I'm suggesting an eight-week season so we could try some stuff out. Uh, some of the basic features I thought might be work better would be to move the Quiet Storm to Fridays, and then it can rebroadcast Saturdays and Sundays. Mm -hmm. uh, on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, uh, we could do an, essentially something similar. For right now, I just have it as like the evening coffee. <laughs> and the issue had to do really with the programming for the hot picks and the new, new new sports because it was also, I remember I mentioned before that we could shift those to a different programming times right. in order to get a different kind of emphasis. Or it could stay within the well it well actually that's gonna that that was one of the discussions because I made some notes on the new format of the morning coffee with the album that will be the evening coffee because there will be a seven to eight o'clock live pre show which I would cut which I would call the uh I got it here somewhere the mixtape from eight to nine would be the the evening coffee. Then I then it became an issue of what we would do in the next two hours because that made it interesting. In other words, if the mixtape was really just a pre-show, but allows me to really set up while I'm basically playing music, and you could have the video, so it's not showing me, but we could show the courtyard, whatever. Right. And I could just be the voice, okay, of the mixtape. That's the really the pre-show. Okay. Right. Uh, and I wanted to do so, use some of the artificial intelligence even as the DJ, using some of the music from the Quiet Storms. Okay. Uh, the evening coffee could be a one-hour show. Okay, that's the reason why. The, now I left it open to have the regular format with more with new new sports. See what it had to do with because I wasn't sure how many days you wanted to do that. But even within the old format, you don't have to do it every show. In other words, if we do an evening coffee Monday through Thursday, okay, which would be a one-hour show, or if it was the same way we're doing it now, a 90-minute show, uh, to be followed by a... Because uh, I actually, the way I finally ended up piecing it out, here's the final notes. Thank you. That's my own notes. Sorry, buddy. Was that seven to eight would be the Mario's mixtape? I would be setting up and running stuff out here and running just music setup. Mm -hmm. so, uh, then from eight to nine thirty, I have it as the evening coffee for right now. That's just for right now, so we know what we're talking about. Okay, it could have a new name. Now in that evening coffee, the first question was, did you want to have? You could have new new sports and hot picks within that, even though it was my intent to expand them and separate out the nights, only because it might make it easier for us, and we have that option. 
how how long is the total night? In other words, the block of the hours? Because because I'm are, you, are we looking at the same? The, way? Well, the prime time programming is seven to eleven, but we're only talking about being live to from eight to eight to nine or eight to nine thirty. Okay. See what I'm saying? Yeah. The pre-show, we're live, but that's my the pre-show. You know what I'm talking about? Right. Music. No, I know what you're talking about. And then the then the show. See, that's why I, now I left it eight to nine thirty because that because what I did to leave it more flexible, I had seven to eight Mario's mixtape, eight to nine thirty evening coffee, then nine thirty to ten Mario's mixtape again, then ten to eleven is a rotating slot. And in that road, so that made it less work for us. It made it a little easier. But that all depended on how we did the programming. They left the programming up to 90 minutes for evening coffee, which left it more flexible. And then you also had the option to run over because it's followed by half an hour of mixtape anyway. See, that was by, that's done by attention. But the whole thing is that that would be live, and even the mixtape would be live. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just that I would be, you know, doing it. Now, after that, that rotating slot is something that we program that's not live. But it's, it's theoretically, you're trying to make it something compelling, right, to come after your live show. So I made the, I made a list of rotating slot things, which the rotating slot could be like the LZ, or the or pieces from the LZ, or the best of the LZ, or virtually in cuts, or pieces from. It could be different things on different nights. I, the list I made of rotating slot, but because assuming it's Monday through Thursday, that means that we need four nights that are either the same or different. If they're the same because they have the evening coffee, they still have four f slots of that 10 to 11. Okay? Mm -hmm. And theoretically, you actually have the 11 to, and to 12, but I didn't include it in this. Just for discussion. I forget. Yeah. It's only be, you know, and I just read, the reason I didn't is because they defined it as 7 to 11, but it just occurred to me. Yeah. See, the idea for us, theoretically, too, was to have something that's live. Monday through it actually will be Monday through Friday, right? Because Friday will be the quiet storm, right? And then Monday through Thursday it will be the seven to eight mixtape, eight to nine thirty the evening coffee. Which remember that could change the name. It's just a right. slot holder, right? Followed by half an hour mixtape again because that gives us the flexibility, right? For any guests or anything, you can always go up to two hours, right? See what I'm saying? That's why I did that. But then 10 to 11, and then I'm going to write down right now because it's theoretically as important, even though it's not considered prime time. Theoretically as important for us to plan the 11 to midnight, right? That's assuming that, that's assuming that for now we leave the midnight to morning programming, which I want to at least run past you in one of those five-minute fix-it things. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what I'm talking about with the five-minute fix-it? No, I know what you're talking about. So, just for you to think about, okay, so that rotating slot could be whatever we want. It could also be hot picks and new new sports as more designated separate segments. Right, right. It depends. See, I didn't. It all depends. See, I didn't. Feel, why I didn't okay, this is why I didn't feel strong about it. It was the notion of having a different night where we did two shows, and they had that kind of the hot picks of the new new sports, or they could actually be done on different. It's how we deal with that seven to eleven prime time thing. And if we did the shorter evening coffee then that was specifically when it made more sense to do the hot picks and new, because cause the, okay theoretically even though sports probably doesn't need to expand hot picks could but that depends on you it also doesn't have to Right. it could also do a partial expansion like 45 minutes you see what I'm saying because then in that sub subsequent time we would play the music it's just things to think about if okay. that was the only expansions I wasn't sure right because we can expand both new new sports and hot picks and they can also have guests or not, but it really was so much the new new sports because I knew you you're comfortable that more but the hot picks you might go a little longer right right 
You may or may not if we had guests. How many days a week are we talking? That about? was up to you. Yeah, that that see, determines see, a lot. That yeah, determines well, a remember, lot. That's why I left it open both ways. Yeah. Because you see, what I realized. Okay, this is what I finally came up with. See if you agree. What I realized it was better just to leave the evening coffee at ninety minutes because no matter what we did with it, you see what I'm saying. Right. If it ends early, then it goes to the mixtape early. But that allows us to that allows us to try to rein it in. Right now, it's running ninety minutes. We would like to rein it in to less. Right. But we, if we have a guest, we can let it go out longer. Right. So that's why I thought having the ninety minutes that also that also made it easier for us to deal with the fact that there was only two slots left for the rest of the night. Well, prime time only one slot, the ten to eleven. But for us, I think the 11 to midnight slot is just as important. Right. Well, it may not be just as important. Right. But it's as important. But it's important. So, the hot picks and new new sports, that could be what you... I just say think about it. Yeah, I am because, you know, cause I, I am, I'm, I'm thinking you about it. Cho- you have a bunch of choices, right? Right, yeah. Because I know where the work comes in for those as it relates to it's not necessarily the slot hours, what has to go well, into it beforehand, which is t- so, oh, it's one of those segments where it's, because of the uniqueness of it and because I don't inherently depend on guests and they probably would possibly get involved, either way, it's how many days a week, which you've already covered. And how and then whether it's thirty minutes or forty five minutes, really the same amount of work goes into it is how often. So well, I'm thinking about that as well. That's why I said give example. Okay. In the beginning of all of this, my first thing was that the shows only needed to be once a week. That included hot picks, new to sports and whatever morning coffee monologue was, right? Right. right. Now I still kind of think that all it means is that you and I would free up the seven to eleven slot. See what I'm saying? Right. We would still leave it as a ninety minute slot. Right. For now, right? Right. Even though we know if we really wanted to, we could try to carve it into two one hour slots. But right now, we leave it as a ninety minute slot because it leaves the flexibility. Right. To go over, but it can, we have the anyways. We know it's a two hour piece in there. Right. So I'm totally totally comfortable with the idea of morning doing the morning coffee the evening coffee once a week right and have it rebroadcast and then use that same time Tuesday Wednesday Thursday mm-hmm. for other shows okay that's still and then I like the idea of the Friday still quiet storm because it fits a Friday night programming and it can allow me to rebroadcast it in the same time slot Saturday and Sunday yeah, I think the big shift here is that probably what I'm thinking about because I, I hear I hear it on I, I I'm I got it as it relates to five days a week broadcasting, but it also means that the probably only time that we're going to do anything away from studio d- excursions or you or whatever LZ falls really on Saturday or Sunday. That that no no it doesn't it just you well, have to just how you it. promote it because if you're doing a show say if you're doing four days a week or what have you. The redundancy factor of what you're doing, that's what I'm thinking about. It's, yeah, you don't have to do that, though. Right. It's only, to me, it's just a matter of the time slot you're trying to do. Right. Any programming could change on any night. Okay. So then it doesn't, then it's... So if really, it's... It, so it could, That's the... It's, it's really right. a shift to evening programming, no right. matter what we're doing. The, the, main, the main point of everything is to try to get a local following, and the whole theory right. behind primetime had to do with the people getting home. Right. And it now being settled down. And that was the reason why it was the push to get them because we've we did we it didn't exist before to make this kind of a push. Right. So now we can make an actual prime time push. Right. So with that in mind, I think we can rethink everything. It's just a matter to me. The only thing okay, the only things I would think only thing I think we have to sort of agree on, even in the beginning, is just the fact that it's a seven to eleven it's prime time and that the 11 or 12 was there I was just trying to make it so we didn't kill ourselves and it, you know I like the pre y'all you know I always like the pre-show stuff so the mixtape was a natural with the artificial intelligence and me just talking with that while I'm doing I could do a few multitasking things with that 
and checking the system, getting it grooving, so that one, that seven to eight hour is a easy, just like it's done for the other stuff. So the showtime be, being whatever it is, see, to me, based on the way it's laid out, every component is flexible because the mixtape's not an absolute, neither is, right. there's no part of the programming that's an absolute. Oh, no, you know, I agree with you. No, I'm just, I think the whole, the, the whole part is, 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 is similar to Quiet Storm. It, it's a, well, no, only Friday is Quiet Storm. Right, no, no. What I'm saying is the blocking of from what time to what time. I'm looking at the, you know, the blocking. I know if I, I know if a Quiet Storm, uh, Triple Banger, I know that even though it's... It does seven, happen. It does happen to fall into that. It wasn't by intention. Right. And this was so, actually done the other way. I went and looked at what prime time was. Right. Why they did the prime time, which right. was basically had to do with everybody getting home from work and right. all that. Right. And so it just happened. I didn't even think about Tuesday. I just moved it to Friday. Right. And didn't even think it. But uh, yeah, but it just happens that we did it too and it fit that already. But yeah, it's just filling that slot right. that leaves the mornings totally free right. for a bunch of other things, including other programming or while we're doing excursions right. or whatever. Right. Because depending on what we did during the day, that could be something that's shown that night. Right. See, you might not do it. You might not do it necessarily something else, and you might have a way of incorporating that. Right. What you do during the day. Yeah. With the nighttime programming. The, the main difference is to just to start trying to plan an emphasis for the for the right. evening, right? And then and with the with the goal with the point of doing it, being to develop local audience. Oh no! Both here and right. you know in the other time zones, right? That are roughly with this part of this. Okay. Now, those two we so roughly. If we were to start January 4th, that's a rough, we could leave that as a tentative because that's the first week of January with an eight-week season and rethink everything. Right. Uh, but that's just rough or tentative. Okay. okay. And again, that would be doing the evening coffee, which we could have a dip, like I said. And then what we would need to look at is how we're going to feel. Because remember, to me, the, ten, the two, sl the two one-hour slots that are after the show are theoretically, in their theory, which I'm kind of subscribing to, is us knit the, let's assume we pull our audience in because we're live. Now we want to hit them with the stuff we want to really make them bond to us with. Okay. And, and, and that, it, it, more, I mean, when you say that, what do you mean? As it's separate from the words, show that we're doing for the In other words, on. it has the same theory the way they do with tonight TV programming. They build in a, from a 9 to 10 o'clock audience. Right. They're building for 11 o'clock because that's when they get a surge. Right. Now, none of this stuff may actually be, be, be true. Right. But, but what we're basing all of ours are the basic plannings that they use for local programming. So the theory is that whatever you do as your your hottest stuff or whatever, right. you do at that 8 o'clock slot. Oh no, I got that Okay, one. and then yeah. theory, in theory you try to hold an audience all the way through, through the late night. Okay. So that's the idea, the, the fact that what you try to bring after your live stuff you should try to make it dynamic enough mm -hmm. to hold the audience. No, I get that. I understand. I understand that. The whole thing it's there's it's you know one it one feeds into the other what you do if you don't get them in over here you you may not hold them long enough to get well, to over here again i'm not saying i subscribe these are the standard tenements right i'm not saying i i'm giving it like you know for grain of salt these right. are the standard tenements this is what they say right this is what the standard teachings are right whether or not you believe them or not is another thing and whether or not they're relevant or not is another thing yeah. but for the most part since we have nothing else to co to compare it to anyway right we're since it is a local programming effort this is to make at least makes sense right to try to hit people in prime time right it certainly has a better chance of getting an audience than I think than 10 o'clock in the morning true so oh, yeah, we the, knew that in the yeah. beginning. Yeah. So the whole prime time thing is that since people are home, to theoretically get them right with the lie, and so any of the programming can change. 
Gotcha. And again, seven to eleven being what they have defined as prime time. Okay. And then worth adding in the eleven till twelve. Okay. Based on the local audience, more right. who may want to hang out. Right. Even for the East Coast audience, that would be harder because it's already two a.m. Right. Hmm. No, I understand it. Okay, so that was the theory. And again, the rotating slot things that I made a list of, of, uh, were the LZ, Virtually Uncut, Beast in the Booty, Creature Label, and new shows. Okay. Okay. So now, then, that, then, 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 so that left it open. So you, so you could, ha- so that means if we did morning coffee, we could always do it. You have to first decide how many times a week you want to do. Yeah. See, for me, I'm comfortable. Right. Like I said, to me, it's it, it's more. That's not the decision to be made now. The right. Time slot is the is the really the issue. Yeah. No, I get that. We could easily do morning co- evening mm-hmm. coffee one day a week, mm-hmm. and it still be fi- filling up the other time. Oh yeah. You should block the prime time slots, right? And leaving yeah. the morning free. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. And I remember I mentioned that January 4th is the first week coming back. So we could do it then. Right. Again, I'm just proposing these things to think about. Okay. And again, tomorrow morning, at we're going to have the uh, the special uh, La Final Season broadcast. Right. Okay. Got it. Got it. So that's the, that's the main part yeah. of that. Yeah. That's yeah. a good place to start, I think. Yeah. No, I mean, I think it's... The good thing about it is, is you know, you get to test, and you get to shift um, the the quiet storm block, what we've done already. Then testing, moving morning coffee to our summer evening schedule already has been tested. We did that, so it gave us a, a, a taste of how the programming, and also really how it affects us physically mentally it that's really why I was thought, that's why i thought this would be a well yeah good chance to try and see right i have a feeling it'll be better partly because i'm planning the daytime by having the daytime free i can plan a full day agenda right with an idea of getting here you know at five or so right even if i was out here at five or so that would give me time to do a bunch of stuff pre yeah. and pre and everything yeah, because it's the same. It's because I I look at the the total blocking too. Because I still use Quiet Storm as that day because I know the total blocking is when you're actually in here prior, and the end blocking is when you're completing it. Then in between that, you look at the actual show hour. So I understand what it takes because Quiet Storm did show that model. You know, it's like three shows wrapped in one. It's a unique Tuesday or a new unique programming. So it is like the monster. It's big. It's now, big in a different way, though. What's, what's, what's it, since that still stays one day a week. The good part of this is that we're still trying to do a rained in, rained in evening coffee. Right. Even though it leaves us room because it's evening, it leaves right. you room to go up to two hours, which is probably the maximum we would want to do, too. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. the 90s, where we sit, you know, we could do shorter. Yeah. You know, the editing, so all of that stuff. And right. it leaves us flexible in and out. Like I said, we have the other nights. Right. Depending on what you decide, if you decide you want to do hot picks and new sports once a week then morning co- then evening coffee will essentially be once a week right well let's put it like this it'll be more times a week it doesn't have to have hot picks and new sports saying. except but maybe on Monday it just happens those feature it, segments right it could be shorter right. or we could do other things right until we fill the slot right you see what happens is I'm going to want to fill the slot with something Right. So until we fill the slot, it'll be something like that. Until right. we fill the slot. But right. we can quickly fill the slot with other stuff. Yeah. No, I understand. Even though I like I said, part of it is I'm looking to the idea of how we could do something during the day and have me come back and move it into the broadcast. When we come back, then it would be a different thing, right? We wouldn't do that. A lot of that, right? Or right. Or do lead-ins to it or something. See, it's how we would approach this. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that's where the, some of the lifestyles could be good. And it, and, it, and it still gives us the ultimate flexibility. Yeah. 
So if we do something during the day, then my goal will be to have a workflow to get it into the broadcast. Right. When we come back, and especially if we're assuming that getting back by 5 or 6 o'clock. Right. I could probably have it ready for broadcast even if we got back as late as 6 o'clock. Right. So, well, I got you. I see what you're saying. So that's the kind of, that's the planning I'm doing. Right. No, I got it. For the shift we're doing. That's the thinking behind it. That's the most important stuff behind the thinking. Because the specifics we can work out later. Like I have the ideas for other shows, stuff we talked about. Right. I also have ideas for how to use our days before the shows. Not every day, but because I want to do a, ni- a nine to noon thing that's a physical exercise. That, mm-hmm. But how we do other excursion coverage things. Right. How we can at least see, I don't know, that's the part we have to fill out, right? Right. But to see how that works out. Yeah. Right. And then, but that's what I'm saying. The good news is that we're totally flexible, right? Yeah. And then and with the same emphasis. So we both know we'll, the minute we get out, we do, we, that comes in. It's going to be for me to just be ready to how we get it in. Right. And work that out with you, how quickly, which is one of the regular workflows we're working on anyway, right? Right. How we quickly we move other stuff in, including selfies, into the broadcast. Yeah. yeah. So that's the first thing. Right. And to the way we like. Right? Yeah. And that's, that's, that's part of what yeah. we'll be working on with all of this and adjusting all of it based on the variables. Like if it, if it burns us out. I th- I've, I'm thinking it's going to be better. That's part of my reason. If it's not, I'll be disappointed because that's part yeah. of my goal, to make yeah. it better and to allow for us to go out and do things on certain with more flexibility right. and cover those things, right? Because right. I have the time, right? In other words, I can cover a bunch of stuff on Thursday nights. Right, you right, know? right. I think, I think the, the key is, 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 and I'm looking at a model the same way, to increase... And it's like they say you do you don't want to do social media one day a week and social media encompasses video and all the other things that go along with it and how you could package or do pr- your production without doing a lot of post production that time of post production really affects you going in as well as the pre production of what you're developing so I, I keep looking at the model and what we did with Tuesdays is one of the great examples well, of expanding without even having to have that much production well here's what's interesting before about this and after this one I thought would be it to even I don't know how to do it so 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 right after like the evening coffee, because the way our systems are set up, I have a totally separate system for post production and everything, right? Mm-hmm. So none of that gets in the way now, okay? Right. But even still, while I'm while that rotating slide is going on, leaves us a lot of room to be here to do the social media things you want in ways that are, could be totally expansive. We're kind of here anyway to a certain. See, I'm trying to look at some of the overlapping tasks, right? Because that's actually, in a sense, it's not free time. And I'm just saying that once we come out of the show, the 90 minute plus or minus, right? See, before that was you know the mixtape, but then the 90 minute. We come out of that, we go to the rotating slots for two hours. We're still here to do other social media stuff mm-hmm. and metadata stuff. And all that stuff. So how we maximize that time could be really cool again. Right. And still leave room for us, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, it's the same because it, it goes back, it goes right into the same thing about how much do we now, you know, there, there's production and then there's the, you know, the post activity of getting it out there. And then that's wrapped in with the promotion of it because like I said, we, when we push production a lot, Usually our promotion and outreach takes a little bit of a backseat because of the nature of how we set up what we're doing. So this is really well, going to work in a way to say, let's test this model because usually we're so busy wrapping the production. I wrote a different model that was Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah. See, see, that was also was something that we could do too to start. Right. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Because you know what it had to do with, Vic? Right. It had to do with what we did on those days. See, right. remember? So... The first thing to keep in mind is, I think we already hit it there, if we do the evening coffee one day a week, we know we don't, we both, I think, know we don't need more episodes to get what we want. Right. And that the other shows get us more traction. I'm with you totally on that. And so, 
And, the, and even when I said Monday, Wednesday, Friday, it only had to do with the quote unquote, excuse me, evening coffee. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Because, again, whatever we do Monday, well, or we'll, whatever it is. Yeah, whatever it'll, we do. It'll, 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 it'll work only itself. Thing, right. And we, can, for, we don't have to do Quiet Storm on Friday. Right. But whatever way day we do it, I'll re- probably rebroadcast it Saturday yeah. or Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. No, you got a good. What Quiet Storm does is a, it's a little different, and it, it it like you said, sometimes we trip into stuff, even though it wasn't planned the way we're doing it now, and it turned out to be something that evolved in something else, and less post activity. I mean, we wrap it up in such a way that you say only because it's really later. Well, that that's we, what makes it cool about the, the I victory getting three. See, right. We get it, then that could go later with less stress. Right. right. It, it. The only thing you, everybody's fighting over is hurrying up and say, "Hey, we got to get some rest. Got to get up early." So it has nothing to do with as much as you get doing more work after, as much as what people are trying to make sure that they. Oh, I got to go. You lose this person. You lose that person. But with you and I. We're rolling, not rolling into a morning coffee day the same way like we have been before, because you can't, you can't just willy nilly and because when you roll into that Wednesday, it's not as energetic. No, as that Tuesday even though night, even though it's still <laughs> like I said, that's what's good about this. No mornings. Yeah. Uh, all those I'm take, I want to take back to do the other stuff. Right. Cause, because even if I plan an exercise, see, my personal goal was to do noon. Nine to noon to be out, either mm-hmm. exercise in the park, whatever. Mm-hmm. Seven days a week, yeah. some form of something. Yeah, now, you know how that's a lot. But I have to make a lofty goal. I don't have any other reason, so that leaves me room to come back and do everything. Blah blah blah. Yeah, with you basically, and then just to plan with a lot of room. For, well, yeah, for and the evenings and stuff. Well, the, one of the absolute benefits is it is the normal business hours, so part of part of this whole thing is is to connect with people at what they call the business hours the day and so that makes it available to us so we don't have to because a lot of the people shift you know um, shift as they relate to the business hours and when they're communicating to you your fellowship your connectivity it's just just part of the environment it's not the same when you're trying to connect to people say after 7 or after 8 p.m. after a day like that so I like it because of that reason because you get to you get to hit a number of things during the daytime the business hours uh, the brainstorming the connectivity I, I like it for that reason free freeing up that time of the day going to evening bro, um, programming I like it the issue has to do also with our eating I left room for right now temporarily right for roughly our sp- current eating schedule I yeah. mean it's like a we would have a, a light and breakfast mm-hmm. fruit thing and then a, a heavier lunch around three or something right yeah and then maybe a light either dinner or no dinner yeah you know the two that's usually us usually for us I got you so that leaves room for that if we do it like that yeah because the thing to keep in mind I thought about is if you're doing Monday through Thursday well Monday through Friday seven that means you need to eat before that Mm-hmm. So I left for that left room. So those are all the things to think about. I think okay. for us, right? Okay. And then to think about, like I said, the rotating slot, which is whatever of our program we want to show. But any game, like I said, that's only for that night. Mm-hmm. That's still not the same as the other night. Yeah. But that at least gives you a couple things. One, a basic setup mm-hmm. from seven to eleven. Right. And then the ability to change any of that up. But that's why I said it allowed us to make the initial move, right? Right. We could just do the evening coffee. Right. Monday through Thursday and change what it is. Or like I said, most likely, I, most likely we would never do that because what will end up happening is we'll just go out. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. I mean, chances are that we would only do evening coffee or we'll talk about how we want to expand that. Right. So include something, I don't know. Right. We just have. We'll just have to plan how we want to deal with that. Right. But there are no way are we harnessed to being here. No, no, no. I know, know that. I, I completely understand the blocking of the hours as it relates to dedicating to the new push or programming and all those factors you explained. So, uh, it is more attractive for um, the model that we're going after the outreach, the local support. Yeah, local LA. Now, yeah. what do you think about that whole? Because to me, again. The real impetus between be, the real impetus behind the schedule changes 
was to make that concerted effort and to bring in the other resources, whether it's social media, right. all the other things, to go after a local LA audience in the time that where they may be available. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I think it goes back to what we did before. Uh, it, 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 when we first started the morning coffee model, it was really heavily based on recruitment of guests. It was really based on that. After we we're doing what we call our early early days of just going hey here's morning coffee before the expansion into the segments um i think it it, it goes to the same thing do because guest recruitment inherently deals with those same same I- same issues, issues. and it even really does because you're really saying how much can you promoting we did the numbers on this yeah. we would say 40 percent of our guest promises or what we call agreed to appear would drop off couldn't and, promote and heavily the good with thing credibility about this too vic if we did have a daytime request we could easily do it and rebroadcast it in the evening yeah i'm trying to work on that kind of workflow yeah so yeah. it's easy for us so if we go out and do stuff during the day right that there's no problem with adjusting see the 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 real, the real dynamic thing to me is to get the workflow so that the broadcasts can change dynamically almost. Yeah. Hour, yeah. Based on what happens, it drops into this folder. Right. That's what I'm working on, getting all the stuff fine-tuned. Right. No, I no, I I understand it. I it's, it, the part that it, I learned, like I said, morning coffee, full blown. I mean, the, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday that we used to do with guest recruitment, how much work that was and what we were doing, which is the monster. Well, this leaves and, you room, but you still oh, yeah. have a lot, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the the key now, what I like, is the message of morning coffee. We have gone from what we call the guests of morning coffee to, no, this is Mario and Victor's segments. So it doesn't inherently exactly. depend on that. And it so can be any move, time of the day, right. seven days a week. Right. And the only and the thing to think about was that Victor segment. Right. That's where, the where that's one thing I had in my mind, right. even right. though that's a it may be too much. In other words, yeah. it could be a Victor segment or a Victor evening yeah. where we did new to sports and hot picks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm you know, the like they said it's it's like, you know, you're writing a song and then all of a sudden you want to add more elements to it and you say you may change the song for the worse, you may create more work, leave it in a simple format. I'm still going through that because like I said, when you get a taste of what they call quick programming and and, and and initiatives where they say this model works and it doesn't take me a lot at all. And I'm going uh, and what you get from it as opposed to the model that you're doing over here and he says well why are you doing this segment this way and why does it take so much time over here on this one and your new programming you start going wait a minute I want to scale it to how we do a production over here because it takes way less well that's why this works good so this allows us all of that yeah so true so true It's 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 a good it's a good thing all right, so that's this week's Making Pack Stereo. We'll let you know. Remember, the impetus is on us making the shift. Uh, that the morning coffee is going on hiatus. Tomorrow is the final broadcast of the season. And then we'll go over the calendar in some detail to decide how we're going to plan, which days actually for the rest. I uh, have a calendar right, right here, Vic, okay. and it just leaves us open. The main thing is that we could do morning coffee. It's going to be the quiet storm on Tuesday all the way to the 29th, but I wouldn't want to do it if we do it to the 29th right. and it comes back the, the week of the of, of the 9th. It comes back on the 8th. Okay. Because that would be the Friday of the week we come back. Tech, if we come back then. All right. If we come back that first, that would be the week. That means that the evening coffee would start the 4th right. and that the quiet storm would be the 8th. Right. The previous quiet storm will have been on the 29th. Okay. I got you. Here's your little room. So, mm-hmm. extra. so that's th- theoretically the way it could work. And then I made a note just to let you know, or just for uh, you to think about whether or not we would do any programming on Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve. Got it. Because that's the 24th. Those are both Thursdays. Yeah, you know, 
th those are easy dues too because those are so spot on and, and then because of the the newer mobile smart di device there i'm pretty sure everybody's going to be going hey watch me look at me at, at a baseline this is what i'm doing around christmas eve right like, i already see that happening if it's not a big so broadcast we may be doing something yeah because yeah. we may even i mean even see what happens even if it's through how we rebroadcast yeah. the other streams right it's going to be there because where is everybody going to be on christmas eve because everything shuts down All right. 6 p.m on that day be uh, that Christmas Eve, so most people are going to be well. I'm putting down to be determined that we both agreed there was something to think about, right? I put TBD, yeah, to be determined, right? Yeah, and it's easier now, it's, it take, doesn't take in a big production uh, yeah. event, yeah. Uh, Christmas Day and New Year's Day, I didn't pencil anything, but yeah. Yes, yes. You want me to put that as a TBD or you want to leave it off? I would say New Year's, uh, I mean, excuse me. I mean, Christmas Day, you can, I guess. New Year's Day, you know, I, you know, that's just a feel, I guess. Uh, okay, I'll put TBD then. For the sports nuts, they may say Christmas, New Year's I, I don't Day. I know, but we could do yeah. something, how we tie it yeah. in. That's for us to be determined. We could do nothing. Yeah. But at least we didn't say nothing. We didn't yeah. just say absolutely not. Yeah. So, because you know, so okay, so that's enough of a decision for now. Uh, later on, I'll go through the schedule for this week with you, just about Tuesday and Friday for us to okay. run around. Okay, but that's really the only thing with that, Vic. All right. So we did everything. Okay. Well, thank everybody. You'll get to hear the updates again. We're making up the schedule. See the changes reflected in our broadcast. Remember, we have to really struggle with the issue of how to run a broadcast system and a broadcast network how to showcase our own programming and your programming. And again, that's part of this. I'm Mario Hemsley. This is Making Pack Stereo TV. Peace.